Hello everyone and welcome to another Fallout 76 video. Today we're here to explore the best route to farm caps in the game. Probably one of the best in my opinion. So what can you expect here? Well, you can expect to make a lot of money. You can find up to 20 cap stashes along with many other cap rewards and materials that you can sell to vendors, of course. So let's get on into it. Before we jump into action, let's check the perks that can maximize this route. I have selected these four perks, Travel Agent, Hard Bargain, Fortune Finder and Cap Collector. Why? Because, you know, we're going to hunt cap stashes and we're going to travel to multiple locations. So these two perks are essential to, you know, maximize the profits when you find a cap stash and minimize the costs of traveling. This way you can find cap stashes more easily and you can also sell for an increased amount of money. Ideally, you want to have the marsupial mutation as well, because some places in this route are quite hard to reach, or even impossible without this mutation. But let's tag along. After exploring many, many points in the forest area, I came up with this route. So there are nine interest locations, and we should start at White Spring Service Entrance, which is number one. And here we are. So there are two cap stashes and enclave vendors. And the first cap stash is right above the entrance roof, as you can see. There's also a cherry cola if you wish to pick it up. And the second stash is inside the bunker. Now, keep in mind that you need to do at least the first enclave mission to enter the bunker. If you don't know how to start it, I leave you the link above so you can follow the walkthrough. Anyway, you need to follow the path as if you were going to the military wing, except to go always forward until you find this little room where the second stash is usually below the broken computer. And then you can decide if you want to check the terminals or not. I always check if there are any useful mods, like the jetpack, in this vendor. From here you can TP or walk to the White Spring Resort. There are also supposedly two cap stashes, but unfortunately I have only found one so far, which is in this locked room. But you need a pick lock level 3. But it's worth it. Almost every single time I server jumped, the stash was here. So it's really worth to take the perk to unlock this door. And you can get some little more crash every time you come to sell your stuff here. The next stash is supposedly here at the bespoke store under the counter, but I did not find it. The third location I have included is the White Spring Golf Club. And it is optional because there are no cap stashes here at all but there are some dozens of coals that drop caps, ammo, scrap, all sorts of useful items that you can sell to the nearby vendors or any other vendors of your choice. So it's great experience, it's decent money. So if you are here, if you are following this route, you are here for sure, you just have to walk and check if there are this massive wave of ghouls to kill and get some rewards out of it. I mean, I usually do it. They also drop legendaries. I think it's a win-win situation, but it's up to you to judge and decide what you wish to do. If you don't want to do this, then you can jump to the next location. Also, a quick note here, if you go forward to the next housing area, you will also find some ghouls and some legendary enemies, which of course drop legendary um, items. So that's a great thing. I will probably cover that in another video because it would be 
very very extensive to add everything in here but that's just useful information that I decided to add now if you are like me who prefers to kill everything at first don't forget to carefully check each body or pile of goo and check the loot sometimes I miss some nice loot because there are so many bodies around so I advise you to carefully check one by one and once you're done here it's time to move to point four which is the riverside houses there are four cap stashes and some nice crap if you wish to explore a little bit the first one is here at the summer villa and i used my power armor and marsupial mutation to just jump into the roof and collect this beautiful cap stash here i don't think there's any other way to reach the roof um then you just have to go down follow this path and head towards the next house which is the overlook cabin there is also one cap stash here ideally you want to enter from the first floor and kill the scorch that cross your way they are low levels so they should be one hit from any weapon if you are high level of course and the cap stash is here at this shelf it's very easy and now we have five cap stashes and you can head to the next house which is just across you just have to go forward a little bit and you want to go to the backyard where is a little lake you'll find um a broken safe and the cap stash is inside and that's another one continue going forward and the last cap stash is in the first floor of the next house what a surprise right it's right here at Hurdad manor and again i will use my marsupial to jump right away and i don't think there is any other way to get there without the mutation marsupial is very useful for many things including hunting cap stashes now the cap stash wasn't here so i had to relog in another server and i found it right away and that's seven to go so now let's move to point five at the riverside manor there are two cap stashes as well, one inside and one outside, and quite a lot of low-level enemies. I ignored most of them, except from the mole rats, because they kept chasing me, and I needed to check for the first cap stash here at the entrance. The first one is right here, so if you want, you can enter from the back. From the garage and you will find the cap stash just here then you need to go inside and go upstairs to the first floor it should be quite easy there are several stairs and one of them is here then open this door and enter this room here the next cap stash is right under this bed but make sure to kill the scorch that keep following you because they are extremely annoying and if it's dark like in my case you won't be able to easily see the cap stash or pick it up but once you do i would rush and get out of there if i were you but it's up to your decision all you have to do is jump down and look for the door which is right here all right so location six is the somerville dam and there's nothing much here except this 
horrendous creature that always drops caps. Low level Graftons are very easy to kill and they always drop around 20 caps. 15 to 20 I would say. And well, this is right on the way, so why not pick up some more caps, huh? The next location is here at the Charlestown Capital Building. And again, there are no cap stashes, just a ton of mutants, and they all drop caps. Plus, they're very easy to kill, low levels, you know. So, if you want, you can skip it or just go inside and annihilate everything you see. But don't forget to pick up the caps. That's very, very important, okay? If you don't pick up the caps, then you're somewhat losing your time, you know? They don't give that much experience anyway. No, but for real. Each one of them drops one to three caps. I think some dropped four caps. Um, I think there's also one legendary sometimes. But overall, this is a quick run like 5-10 minutes max and you can get a decent amount of caps and experience for what it is so i leave it to you to decide if you want to come here or not anyway let's move to the next location which is right at the charleston buildings there are two cap stashes and some caps and scrap if you want you need to come to this building it's probably familiar to you. It's the same building where you did the fire um, breeder exam. And you need to follow the arrows in the walls. The first cap stash is just in the next level. Right here. In this shelf. And hey, we are with 10 cap stashes already. The second one is a little bit off, but all you have to do is to head to the next building and go upstairs immediately. Then you will be able to find the next cap stash inside a broken computer screen right here. It's a bit difficult to pick, but it's there. All right, so we're done here and we can move to the next location. This is just outside the building and it's not part of the route because it's just a graphon, another one, yes, that I found along the way. So if you find it as well, it's in this bridge in the railway. And it's another 18 free caps for you. I also found this body, but no caps. Okay, the next real location is finally the Poseidon Energy Plant, where there are many cap stashes, okay? <laughs> so when you TP here, you will head towards the tents, where you can find two cap stashes around. Feel free to explore, there is also some useful loot around, but the first stash is right here, on top of this barrel. And I did a bit of exploration, not too much, but the next cap stash is inside the tent, a little bit ahead. And be careful with the scorch, sometimes there are a few enemies but you can probably one hit them no problem so the cap stash is right here near this pad and there you go 13 cap stashes are yours from this point you have to head inside the power plant facility and just go upstairs all the way up you can take the stairs here and we can start our hunting now don't do the event because turning the power plant back on 
will not be good for you because you want to pick up a few cap stashes in another building and if the power plant is on you will take a lot of damage and it's almost impossible to get them so just focus for now on getting the cap stashes then if you want to do the event later be my guest so the first cap stash is right here in this small building if you can call it that there are a lot of scorch in this area and they're very annoying so i made sure they were dead before i look for the cap stashes okay the first one is here in this corner very well hidden hmm? and we can move along and keep killing whatever comes because they won't stop shooting at you, trust me so from here you want to jump right there, down and there will be a cap stash just behind this part, here Now instead of taking the stairs down, go back, past the van and you need to take these little pads and jump because there is a hidden cap stash in here near a dead body there is also some food and right away it depends, it's not always the same thing then you can go down if you wish, because we need to go to the next buildings, which is the power plant itself. Now remember, if the power plant is working, if it's functional, you won't be able to do this part, because there will be a lot of cast around and it will damage you very badly. If that's the case, just go to another server where it's off then you can come here without taking critical damage so the first cap stash is all the way up you just have to follow my paths and yeah you should kill the scorch if they are annoying you I hate taking free damage so the cap stash is here in this little building above the safe which you can open if you have the skill and the will to do it funny thing sometimes you find caps inside safes so that's a great thing from here you can jump down but not all the way down because there is a cap stash just below us it's right here in this corner and damn the farming is real so there are two more cap stashes and one of them is inside the facility and you can just enter through that blue door there but before I go inside, uh, there is one more cap stash I want to get outside. So we need to get out of this area. So just jump down and look for a way outside these walls. And you need to take the metal stairs, these ones. And go all the way up, almost. In the last level of stairs, you will see an opening to your left, and that's where you want to go. So it's right here, to my left side, now to my right, and the cap stash is around here. Okay, so now you can take one of the doors to go inside, I just went back where we were 
And now the goal here is to find the command room because there is a cap stash there. It's a bit too much effort for the cap stash, but I decided to include it anyway in case you wish to explore, to kill and loot the inside of the building. And you might as well find this room and get the cap stash. Why not? The way there is a bit confusing, but all you have to do is look for a metal door that looks a little bit rusty, like brown, like this one. And it will probably be there. And the command room is like this. And the cap stash is right here to my right. And my friend was doing the event and I just got the rewards. Yay. All right, so this is the last cap stash that I found in here. I think there are a few more, but I was not able to find them. So if you do find them, do let me know in the comment section below. And this is my uh, farming caps route in the forest area. I think it's very effective and you don't need to be server jumping all the time to, you know, farm the same place over and over and over. It can be very tedious and boring. So I hope you enjoy this guide. It has a bit of variety and you can actually farm a great deal of caps with it. I'm Marta Branco. Thanks for watching. I hope this content was useful to you. If so, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.